Forest Farms, everybody. I'm Ivan, and today we're gonna take a quick look, have an update on my Bark River Shining Mountain Bowie. It's been about two years since you guys have seen this knife, and there's been a number of you that have wanted to hear an update. It's a big knife, it's an expensive knife, and I'm sure some people are wanting to know is, is it worth the investment? And since it's been hard to get out and shoot the way I'd like to, this year I've been very busy, luckily, but it's really made it difficult for me to do the the firearms related videos that you guys probably want to see. So without further ado, let's see how this thing has fared. Out of all the tools on my property, this one is probably used the most. I have wood heat for the home, so it is making kindling, you know, feather sticking, everything. I, I am batoning with it. I'm using it hard. And there's also a lot of uh, clearing I've had to do on the property. And there's just times where pulling your knife out and, you know, lopping off a branch or something like that makes more sense than starting up the chainsaw, depending on what you're using. So this thing finds itself on my belt and just finds itself being used probably more than anything, like I might have said, than uh, when it comes to the small tools. And you can see it. It is carrying some of the star, uh, some of the scars of use. If you guys would believe it, the camera is balancing on a shovel at the moment, so I'm trying to see, uh, but hopefully this is in focus. It is, as you can see, it's it's took in some damage. The A2 steel has been awesome. It's been very tough. Obviously, it hasn't broken. Nothing has come loose in the uh, construction. Um, and it takes a, an, a good edge. It does. It's not too hard to sharpen to a really nice sharp edge, and it holds it a long time. I would say that this A2 has probably been, uh, at least in my experience, probably been the best. But you know, best of both worlds when it comes to hard use and keeping sharpness and ease of sharpening. Um, it, it's been great. This light, this this knife has been batoned a lot. It's been hacked a lot. It's really had a lot of jarring use, and nothing has really happened that would be out of the ordinary. If you guys can see, there is a few little chips on the edge of the blade. You know, you're out there clearing land, and let's say you're you're chopping through some stuff, and there's some wire or like a T-post. It might sound crazy, but that you can't see. And uh, on accident, you come in and you clip a little, but even then, it sharpened up way, it's sharpened up a nice, right back and the chips have been very minimal uh, but like I said it's been used hard lot of 
batoning, like I said, um, pro processing the wood for my wood stove, a lot of feather sticking, and it works. You can see I, he even becomes a poker sometimes trying to push some stuff around because since I spent the money, I wanted to see if it was worth it. You know, I mean, I wanted to see, you know, is this just a gimmick or am I actually getting quality here? And I'd have to say it is. It's the quality is totally there. I'm really happy that I got the stacked leather handle grip. Number one, it just feels so good, especially as it gets used. It gets a roughness that just if you want to be able to hold. I mean, you want to be able to keep hold of something like this when you're definitely swinging it or it's wet. And I have had no problems with the stacked leather. And I, I'm not so sure. Let's say if, if this was wood, it could have cracked by now. I mean, with all the shock. It really could have not held up the way how the rest of the knife has. So I think that the stacked leather handle w was the way to go. Looking at the steel itself, you can see it, you know, from quick sharpenings and going through all sorts of different types of material. It's done well. This one, if I didn't mention before, it says that it is a first production run knife. I'm not sure if that really matters, but they sure got it right the first time around. Nothing has loosened up at all. And it's just been such a good tool. The leather sheath has also held up great. This is great leather. I treated it with beeswax years and years ago, but it's just continued to work. Well, I like that you can sometimes, you know, you're going in, you're sitting down, and you want to take the knife off, but you don't want to undo your belt. This this hangs well, where you can remove the entire big knife if you want to. Really nice feature. And, you know, there's a lanyard type of thing that goes over the, the grip if you really are trying to not lose anything. You don't want it coming out. That's also been great. So, maybe in another couple years, I'll give you guys a, another update on it. This is where it's at. I know it's a short video. But like I said before, I like that I can choke up to do kind of finer tasks or I can really back off and get some real power behind it. Once again, that A2 steel, I think it really has been the ticket. It's been able to take a lot of shock, but it has been easy to sharpen. And it has um, really been great. It keeps an edge for a long, long time. So hopefully, somebody who's been interested in how is that thing doing, well, here it is. Thanks for watching, guys. I know it's just a quick video, but hopefully somebody gets something out of this. Thanks again. And hopefully, we'll get some shooting videos up soon. I've been Ivan, and... This has been Forest Firearms, and thanks for watching.